Hi, this is Jerry, and I'd like to do a little walk around this morning of the Sears rear engine rider. On the side of the mower, it is labeled rear engine rider 1000. On the Sears website, it is actually model 29000. And you, if you're interested in something like this, you want to make sure that it is model 29000. There's an earlier model, 25000. That had a lighter duty transmission in it, and a lot of people reported trouble with the transmission in a very short time. This has a heavier transmission in it, the 29,000, uh, similar to the tractor, the, the LT1500 that's labeled on their site. And so far there hasn't been really any, any issues with the transmission on it. Mower has quite a bit of power. Um, as you can see, I've got a small hill that I mow up, and there's absolutely no problem with that. So let's walk around the tractor a little bit. I'll show you some of the features on it. This is a 420cc, it's a 30 inch cut, uh, 6 speed, and we'll just take a look at it here. Obviously right here, clutch pedal. Clutch pedal has to be depressed for the engine to start. Steering wheel. There is a push button right here, or a release on it, where you can telescope this steering wheel in or out. Uh, get it a little bit closer to you if you want. Key ignition down here, throttle all the way back is, is slow. Uh, fast and full forward is choke. Under the seat, yellow cap is the oil fill. Gas cap is on the far side. It does have a wash feature where you can connect a hose when the mower is running to actually wash the bottom of the mower. That's kind of handy. Walking around to this side of it here. This is the mower engage. Full forward engages the mower. More raise and lower. And probably the only feature I don't really like about it is the uh, transmission lever, which is between your legs. Makes it a little bit difficult to get to and it's kind of a weird shift pattern, but uh, um, that would be forward. Pull it back, that would be neutral. All the way back is reverse. And then right up along the side here is the actual speed control. Uh, all the way down is park, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. I mow my yard in about third. That seems to be about right. The only other thing about this mower that I that uh, takes a little getting used to is the clutch pedal is very, very sensitive. As you you want to release the clutch very, very slowly on this, it's it's very jerky when it takes off. So, a couple of things if you buy this mower that you'll want to do right away. One of the most annoying things is you can't mow in reverse. Um, if you shift into reverse with the mower engaged, the engine will shut down. And that's that'll take you all of a couple of seconds to fix that problem, and I'll show you how to do that right now. On this side of the mower, just below where the mower engaged lever and uh, the height is, if you look underneath, I'll try to get around here so we can see a little bit better here. But right above this cable that runs in, if you follow your hand in, you'll see there's a little yellow wire here. And that little wire is plugged into the top of a switch with a kind of a pink connector. Just reach up and pull that connector off. There it is right there. That's the mow in reverse. And you might want to put a little piece of tape around that or something, or just tie it up, or just uh, tie it onto this cable bundle right here. That solves the problem. Now the mower will run in reverse. Everything is fine. Um, there are a couple of other things that you should know about. Um, one of the things that annoys me is uh, is if you lean forward or get off the mower, the engine quits. And that's pretty much the same with every garden tractor. And that is if you tip the sweet, uh, seat up, that's this switch right here. And uh, there's really no way to get at this switch without taking this whole platform off. But uh, put a little bit of PVC cement on it and push it down and hold it until it locks down and uh, problem solved. That's not, that's kind of a, probably a, a really good safety feature to have. Uh, so whether you want to disable that or not is up to you. Um, if you do disable that, the mower will stay running when you get off of it, uh, or can stay running if it's engaged. Uh, that can be kind of a dangerous situation if you're not careful. So um, decide on that if you want to do that or not. So the only problem I've run into with this mower is uh, while mowing, I bumped a sprinkler head with the front of this chute right here. 
and uh, the engine quit and the mower wouldn't start and uh, couldn't figure out what was going on but if you look right here there's a safety switch right here and that safety switch um, keeps you from starting the mower without this plastic chute on what had happened is when I bumped the sprinkler head it pushed the chute back this edge of the chute bumped up over the top of the switch and let go of the switch and uh, so that kept me from starting the mower so I actually had to take the two screws off well actually it's just this big thumb nut on here and put this back on and get it hooked behind the switch again here and then everything was fine but uh, I'll go ahead and fire it up and uh, we'll mow just a little bit with it I'll show you uh, nice step through design that's one thing that is nice about it so on the mower starting it simply uh, run the throttle full forward clutch pedal in and it should start almost immediately pull it back where you want, gear shift, into forward, whichever speed you would like. Right now I'm got it at speed three. Now this is the only thing is uh, letting the clutch off. If you let, you'll see that it is rather jumpy here when I let go of it. It does turn very, very tight, as you notice going around a bird feeder here. It actually turns tighter than it should probably because it is possible to jam the wheels if you run into something uh, all the way to one side. Reach down in reverse and reverse is fine. Speed selector you can just move this up if you want. And shift back into forward and let it out nice and slow. And you'll notice now you're in the, in the fast forward speed on it. And as far as going up and down hills with it, I'll set it back to about three where I mow with it. And uh, going straight up a hill here, you can see that there is no problem. The mower has plenty of plenty of power. So we'll take it back down and park it. I'll show you the uh, lawnmower engage on it. On more engage, just simply grab the lever slowly forward. Get the truck in there for not cleaning it out. Raise or lower it to the level you want, and away you go. And you'll know with the more engage with the. Uh, the yellow wire off, you'll notice that it will mow in reverse. So we'll just shut it down. Disengage the mower, I'll just bring that up a ways. Throttle all the way back. And switch off. So that is it. That's uh, the Sears rear engine mower. And uh, like the only complaint I have, uh, other than uh, the clutch being a little jumpy on it, is there are no anti-scalp wheels on the mower. You'll notice that a lot of the mowers will have wheels on the side here. Um, I'm looking at a way to fabricate something for it because the mower actually does float a little bit. And uh, even going up a hill like this, you'll notice, uh, um, unless you have really, really flat grass or, or a pretty flat lawn, you'll see you... Uh, even mowing in uh, in the third position up fairly high when you crest the top of a hill you will scalp it a little bit so that is the only disadvantage to the mower is uh, the fact that the mower doesn't float but uh, other than that uh, very nice machine and I thank you for watching the video